confirmed in a few minutes. Talk to you later, Rusty. Here's a nice story. Halloween came early for some tonight at the Lancaster Event Center. Many stopped by all dressed up for the first trunk or treat by the Lincoln Police Department in over two years. Channel 8's Jessica Blum was there dodging ghosts and goblins tonight. Jessica, glad you made it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, creatures were seen creeping for candy tonight at the Lancaster Event Center. This was the scene as Lincoln Police Department hosted trunk or treat this year along with other first responders with new attractions to see. The pavilion at the Lancaster Event Center had spooks around every corner for kids to run into for the first time since 2019 because of COVID. Multiple scenes included haunted houses, fire engines, and a cop donut shop for little ones to run up to for sweets. One of the newer attractions was the Lancaster County Sheriff's new armored vehicle to replace their old one. Kids had the opportunity to jump inside and see the view while taking pictures in the trunk. Yeah, this is great for the kids. I mean, they, it's got a turret up top. They can stand up there and look out the turret. Uh, they don't get to see one of these things on a regular basis, so it, uh, they see them on TV, but they've never seen one close up and personal. And they, they can climb around and they can't hurt it, and uh, it's kind of fun. In years past, Trunk or Treat has drawn enough people to need quick runs to surrounding grocery stores to restock candy. However, this year, organizers said they came prepared to welcome any and all Trunk or Treaters. Unlike previous years where we relied a lot on donations, we just decided to foot it ourselves and buy the, buy the stuff so that we were sure to have enough. We weren't making last minute runs to Walgreens to try to pick up candy and whatnot. So we have plenty for the year, uh, for the whole night. We should be good. We should have extra even. And if so, we have some other organizations that we'll give whatever's left over to. With temperatures this morning dropping below 20 degrees, many told me they were thankful for a safe, warm event for their loved ones. But yeah, no, it's just an amazing event that, the, that everybody puts on and stuff. We've got a, a deep history, our family, in the fire department, which is really cool to see all That's that here cool. too. Cool. And stuff. everybody's retired pretty much now, but um, we love it. And we love being able to come in and stuff. He likes hopping around and seeing everybody and... Yeah, then they get all sugared up. First responders said they want to make sure everyone has a safe and smart Halloween. And with Halloween just under two weeks away, organizers told me today worked well for them and the event center in planning another safe spot for Lincoln families after two years of not having the event. Yeah, I'm sure many folks were glad the event was back. Jessica, thank you for that story tonight. Well, before we head to break, we want to remind you about our